What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, this week just keeps getting worse for fans of CD Projekt Red, as today they have done what is, as many consider, including myself, the unforgivable, and bent the knee to Chinese outrage. Now, I specifically bought Cyberpunk 2077 from GOG.com. A lot of people don't know this. Obviously, CD Projekt Red owns and developed Cyberpunk 2077, just like they did The Witcher 3. And they also own GOG.com, which is like a Steam alternative um, that, that has a lot of unique features. Cyberpunk 2077 came out on GOG, and CD Projekt Red literally asked us to buy it on that platform so that they would receive the bulk of the cash. The way it works is to sh have your game on Steam. For example, Steam would take like a 30% cut. So of every, you know, $60, Steam makes 18 bucks, keeps 18 bucks of that, sends 48, 42 bucks back to CD Projekt Red. That's how these platforms make their dough. So CD Projekt Red came out, said, hey, buy from us so that all the money comes to us, which everyone, including myself, was 100% fine. Now, obviously, a ton of people bought on Steam setting records, but nonetheless, uh, they did. People like me went out of our way. Then, um, today, GOG.com pulled a game due to <sighs> Chinese outrage. Now, again, I will say, as always, this isn't a indictment of Chinese people. It's, it's of the Chinese government. Now, if you are a Chinese person who is offended by Winnie the Pooh memes, then yes, I'm making fun of you too. Uh, to give you a brief history, there's a Taiwanese horror game uh, called Devotion. Also, if you want to understand the relationship between China and Taiwan, it's obviously a tenuous one. Um, you know, even acknowledging that Taiwan exists is, a, is an issue. Disney recently bent the knee to China and removed the Taiwanese flag from the jacket of one of the pilots in Top Gun 2. It was on the jacket in the original Top Gun, but they censored it. So think about that when you give Disney your money. Now, Taiwanese horror game Devotion vanishes from Steam after angry Chinese gamers find Winnie the Pooh meme. Taiwanese horror game Devotion has been removed from Steam by its developers after it drew the ire of the Chinese gamers, including a meme that mocked Chinese President Xi... Who cares? The meme angered gamers, not gamers, Chinese gamers, uh, specifically those in China, um, including, and I'm sure there are plenty that enjoyed it, by the way. Um, and they left thousands of thumb down reviews on Steam for Devotion, forcing the developer to apologize as spotted earlier by Polygon. Developers now say that they will return after a quote quality check. Twitch's hottest psychological horror game, Devotion takes players through an abandoned 1980s apartment complex in Taiwan where they have to figure out what happened to a religious family that once lived there. The second horror game from the Taiwanese studio Red Candle Games, all, which also pro produced detention, an unexpected Easter egg on the walls, though a poster of the cursed talisman also says that uh, Xi Jinping Winnie the Pooh moron. As of 2.20 Eastern, Devotion's Steam page went down, although a Steam page for the game's soundtrack and deluxe bundle uh, remains up. Now, this was back in, uh, what, late 2019? Early 2019, all right? Um, Taiwanese Games mocks Chinese president and Chinese gamers review brigade it. Developer apologizes. I understand, you know, wanting to... Um, how do you say, uh, I understand wanting to make your money, but you put it in the game in the first place. Uh, it's, and, and shame on, now it doesn't look like Steam actually review or removed it. It looks like they did because they were getting review brigaded. Now Red Candle 
Games posted an apology, which said the inclusion of the poster was purely an accident. It wasn't. Apparently, it had been some kind of placeholder asset, and a vision version synchronizing problem left it in by mistake. As a game company, Red Candle Games has immense room for improvement. The studio said, we are deeply sorry for the trouble it caused everyone, and that we sincerely ask for the forgiveness of our players. Now, um... Most Chinese gamers I drew not from the mockery of Xi, but rather they felt like the game was mocking mainlanders for being tricked into buying something that makes fun of them. The user noted that a scan of social media channels for Red Candle Games founder and lead designer turned up that several posts showing his political views, including support for Taiwanese independence, which I support as well, and recognition, an extremely controversial and antagonistic stance to mainland China. I don't care. Review brigades on Steam are a time-tested way of registering disapproval for protests. Um, and as of right now, uh, Steam has tried to countermeasures to limit their impact to do little meaningful. Uh, and Epic Games, Store, which launched in December, does not even feature user reviews. Um, and, you know, for a company that, you know, look, Epic Games, you want us to believe that you're not in the pocket of China? Why don't you pick up the game? GOG suddenly pulls troubled horror game Devotion mere hours after the return was announced. Earlier today, Red Candle Games announced that its horror game Devotion would be released on GOG, but now according to a tweet from GOG itself, that's no longer the case. Quote, early, we're going to get to this. Earlier today, it was announced that the game Devotion is coming to GOG after receiving many messages from gamers. We have decided to not list the game in our store. Pathetic. GOG, CD Projekt Red. This is the absolute worst thing you could do right now. Well, probably not the worst, but your company is uh, losing consumer confidence to enormous levels. I'm going to cover that later, the financial impact of that. This sudden and baffling decision. Who are these mysterious, quote, gamers, and what did they say that provoked GOG to pull the game? We've reached out to the company for comment. In the meantime, you can read all about Devotion and its trouble history in the original article below. Well, I already covered that. Um, now, here's a, here's a tweet. If we go to GOG, just to, just to see how this is going over, right? Now, they're trying to bury it under a bunch of new tweets, right? Um, you could see how it's going one hour ago. They tweet about Wolfenstein. What? Oh. Everybody is hilariously. Um, I'm also a gamer. Remove this game. I'm a gamer and I don't want this on your store. Please remove it. What about Devotion? Come on, you guys. After the China thing on this very same day, and you obviously have Wolfenstein. <laughs> uh, it's not going well for GOG. Uh, and then if we look at the original post, which is just very frustrating, 4.3 thousand comments 5.5 thousand retweets i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah 4.6 thousand quote tweets and only a thousand likes look at me i'm about to ratio them myself again earlier today it was announced that the game devotion is coming to gog after receiving many messages from gamers tm we've decided not to list the game my reply was simple I went out of my way to order Cyberpunk from you direct to maximize your profit and got thanked with a buggy mess. Now this. This has been a very disappointing week, to put it mildly. Please reconsider listing devotion on GOG. Games as a media should not be censored to such extremes for political reasons. And as a company that respects ownership of digital games, I hope you will still stand up for freedom of expression in this media as well. well GOG is a, is a great choice because they... Uh, from what I understand, in terms of uh, they, they they help keep older games alive. You maintain your ownership of the games. Ah, uh, yes, a comment from Gamers. Found the comment right here. Xi Jinping. Hello, I am a big gamer. Please take this game down. I don't want this game. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, I know that face. Received many messages from and and S. Lee's. I don't know what that is. Um, Messages from gamers or Chinese bots salty about the Winnie the Pooh joke because there's a difference. Incredibly disappointing pro-censorship uh, pro take, uh, a stance to take. 
I follow devotion controversy for a long time, and it's genuinely heartbreaking to see you pull support away from a small indie developer and stand with suppressive censorship instead after you gave the studio hope for a re-release. You means Chinese nationalists? Now you're going to tell me that Taiwan isn't a country, and we've always been at war with Eurasia. After And they, people are mocking him here. After being brigaded by Chinese netizens, we have decided to embrace censorship and bow to pressure from the CCP. We wouldn't want to lose those delicious RMB really pathetic. This is absolutely ridiculous. I was so excited to support Red and Candle Games and their fantastic work. Shame on you for refusing to stand by devotion and allow us to experience this incredible game for ourselves. I mean, right. It, it's just... It's absolutely pathetic. Here's Alex. Literally nobody believes this. We've got some some capitulating to the CCP to do. Uh, and it goes on and on and on. Now that's punk. Yeah, no, it's not. It, it, it's so frustrating to see what felt like a... You know, CD Projekt Red felt like this company that was untouchable, that was just never going to do any wrong. And while I understand they're going to make it better, they're going to make Cyberpunk better, this, in to me, feels worse. Maybe that's because I'm used to buggy games coming out and, and you know, this is just the way it is, unfortunately. Not that I agree with it. This is just pathetic. This is pathetic. And the fact that they're lying on top of it all. They're, they're, who are these gamers? Who are these gamers? That's what I'd like to know. Just unacceptable CD Projekt Red. You made me literally in just one tweet and one action sincerely regret supporting you uh, through GOG on CD Projekt Red or for Cyberpunk. Should have bought it on Steam. And now I'm wondering if I should have bought it at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. And all I want to do is remind you that I have a thriving Discord community I'd like you to join. I have a strong presence on Twitter Alternative Parlor. You can find me on Twitter. And you can join my subreddit. I'd love to see you on all four platforms. Links are in the description of this video. Aye, 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 aye. You can also support the channel by clicking that join button down below, becoming a member here on YouTube, or signing up at my subscribe star, which is also linked in the description below. Both forms of support go miles to support people like my wonderful editor, Sean. or my wonderful thumbnail creator, Ben. You don't have to do these things or join these communities, but it would be neat if you did. Now let's get on with the video.